Happy Memorial Day, guys. It's been a really long day for me. I've been up since four o'clock, had to work really early today. Unfortunately, I don't have Memorial Days off, um, nor do I have really any holidays off. Like, any holidays that land on the weekdays, I don't have off. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to record a video today. I've been having problems at the crib uh, so far. It's been a really, really, really kind of one of those days where you just feel agitated and irrit irritable. Yeah, it's one of those days for me. So really trying to get over this. I didn't even really feel like filming today. Didn't even really feel like going to the gym today. But got to snap out of that mood and um, just take over uh, my feels. <laughs> Uh, also, my internet's not working at the house for some reason, which is really irritable. I got finished editing a video last night, and I can't really post it because I can't connect. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go to Starbucks, which is nothing out of the blue. It's nothing ordinary. I'm at Starbucks either way, and I'm going to have to upload the video there. I like to originally upload the video at home, um, where I, I'm not working. I just load it I just put on the YouTube upload and it just does the whole upload or there I like to do it at home I like to do editing and schoolwork at Starbucks I'm sure you guys already know that so today I'm gonna film a leg day my leg days have been actually going pretty well in the past or in the past like two weeks um, for strength days uh, I'm going to see if I can do squats today like I had a really good low bar squat day yesterday and I'm or not yesterday I'm sorry last week and I'm, I'm hoping that I can readjust that low bar or re redo that low bar squat workout today low bars we're just feeling really good yesterday oh my gosh I can't even talk today but uh yeah so let's get to the gym right now I'm, I'm sitting in front of my house got some apples for pre-workouts uh, <laughs> way better than the caffeine or the powder pre-workout, so yeah, nature's food. Alright, what's up guys, finally getting to this voiceover. Been having problems with the internet for the past couple days, finally got it restored. Now everything's back into action. Although I do go to Starbucks a lot, it's always nice to just have internet at home so I can use it when I need to. So today's a lower body day and today was a really good lower body day which you'll hear me preach about. My hips are finally back to 100 and I finally found my stance, my, my stance that I could push the squats fast and it's just it stays in line everything feels good with squats now nor i was trying to figure it out my stance and it was like toes pointed out toes pointed straight wide stance close stance this is where my stance just feels good overall strong i get really good speed i get a pretty good rebound at the bottom and everything just really feels good so on this day i did a five by five with 375 now i haven't squatted anything higher than 335 in several months so to be able to actually put on 370 or 365 and be able to to a 5 by 5 felt really good and also I did an AMREP set and I'll let you guys check that in just a moment That's to and from school we're basically parades celebrating cuz we knew we made it those late night sessions in my bedroom out in Brooklyn started patiently making this foundation and over 10 years later, we're both still chasing greatness Shameless when we're making these statements The path was never perfect, but this purpose made it worth it Rob barely fucking take us home You salute to a Get everything you think you know Fuck everything you think you know And fuck what people have to say Narrow the stance, everything's just feeling really good. So did an M rep, um, eight reps, did a five by five, but the last set was for eight reps with the, the last rep for a pause. So my hips like 
100. So you can see that I'm pretty happy to be able to be squatting some relatively heavy weight for me. So then wanted to finish off with some three by threes with some pause reps, a little longer pauses and um, a little deeper just to get the groove back in and then finish off with some accessories. My back is super tired right now. I got one more set with the 315, pause reps. Everything's feeling really good, really good. So getting back to the swing of things, I'm just going to do on my strength, lower body days, just keep it to squats and then an accessory movement after the initial squats and then some isolation movements with uh, some leg pressing. Now the something that's always bothered me in the past is my left leg is a lot stronger and bigger than my right leg and it drives me nuts trying to figure that out when I squat. So what I'm trying to do is, I don't know if there's ever really you can isolate it to really balance them out but I'm just going to do uh, leg pressing um, single legged instead of lunges because I'm too lazy to do lunges and uh, just do more repetitions with my right leg to try to see if I can balance it out um, we'll just see how that works in the future and see if it actually uh, pans out for me so I did a little bit of isolation with my hamstrings did these uh, single leg curls some lying leg curls and then some calves as normal two sets of calves i'm sorry two workouts for calves seated and standing and that's really it for this voiceover man this was a really good leg workout and i'm just gonna pace myself this time so i don't go to snap city like uh, my hip injury in the past so thank you guys for listening and enjoy the rest of the video guys all right guys before i forget um that was a great workout. That just shows you that you can turn a bad day into a good day. I went into that workout thinking that, um, just I was just like kind of like depressed today for some reason. I don't know, you always get in those moods and you just like, I'm just missing like Las Vegas, my friends, you know, since I, you know, I don't really have that many friends out here, so I get kind of lonely. But, uh, you know, I just gotta fight through those, fight through those feelings, those feels, man. And, uh, <laughs> Dude, that, that, that squat workout was really good. That just like turned my whole day around. I'm feeling good. I was in there for a couple hours and I felt like I could actually do more, which was awesome, you know? Like I haven't squatted like that in so long. It just feels good to be squatting again. Like I feel like just going to a bar and getting drunk. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm just playing. I uh, got my Quest Bar. I'm really liking this. Oh, there's a fly in here. I'm really liking this Quest Bar right now, the chocolate. I really wasn't a fan of chocolate until I guess it's hard to get in these quest bars, but uh, yeah. Also, I think that was a, I think that was a all-time PR for me for a three, what is that three sixty-five for eight reps. I think eight reps. Yeah, I think uh, I could have done more. I didn't want to push it too much. I felt like you know I was my goal was probably to get ten, but I was satisfied with eight, and I did the pause on the last set, uh, rep. It just felt amazing. Uh, it was beltless. I think I'm gonna continue to squat beltless for a while just to strengthen my core and yeah yeah it's just I feel really good um the internet's not working at my house still which kind of sucks because I just didn't feel like really going out at all so I went inside um showered I uh, ate some chicken broccoli and some onions uh, grilled onions sauteed onions really good uh onions is like one of my favorite things to eat I don't know why I could probably eat a whole onion by itself uh <laughs> love onions but yeah, didn't really even feel like wanting to go out. I kind of just wanted to kick it inside and just rest up. But the internet's work, not working right now, so I already called about that, and I guess they're having technical difficulties um, in this area. So it's nothing with the service. It's Well, it is obviously with the service, but uh, it's just technical difficulties. I just keep repeating myself. And yeah, so the plan is to go to Starbucks. Uh, I have a video edited I mentioned earlier. It's the vlog. Uh, I did for Raphael's show, so I already edited that up. It's all done. Just want to get that out there. And also, I need to stop at the store. Um, need some strawberries. I'm literally at the store almost every day of my life. That's what I spend my money on, guys. Food. Food 
and that's pretty much it. Food, bills, um, gas, that's it. Gym memberships. Wow. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, thinking about converting to the iPhone. I've always been an Android fan, and when I used to be a phone geek, I used to root my phones and put custom ROMs on it and all that crazy stuff. Uh, just really, you grow out of that, I guess. Plus, uh, you damage your phones uh, when you do that, or you do it incorrectly. You could, uh, what is it called, break it? Yeah, you could break it, and pretty much ruin your phone for good. So I got, really got out of that. So I've been having a lot of problems since the update from Jelly Bean to Lollipop. And that's the uh, Android services. So I'm just about to literally break my phone because it keeps freezing on me. Um, and I just, I literally can't stand it. I even went back to T-Mobile and I asked them about it to uh, see if I could just exchange it. And they told me they had to do all this crap and it just, it's just, I don't have the patience for it. I've already waited like a whole month and a half or two months of um, this issue and I was hoping that the network could fix it, but they're not gonna fix it. So, or they probably are, but they're just taking their sweet time with it. So I'm thinking about doing the uh, iPhone up or just doing the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, just haven't really committed to it yet, but I'm thinking that it's going to happen soon. I'm gonna convert to the iPhone, guys. Something I wanted to pick up, a body weight scale. The uh, scale that I have at home is old school. Uh, I want a digital one, and I was trying to look for one online, but uh, don't wanna wait. I'm at Walmart anyway, and there's a couple things that you can pick up at Walmart. It's a lot cheaper that you can get at a Publix or a different store. So I'll just go in there and get what I need. The good thing about Walmart is they sell these big, Pound ones and at Publix they don't sell the big ones so this is something I like about Walmart. The only thing is I don't really know if I like these jumbo huge ones. They're like genetically modified strawberries. Uh, I like the smaller ones, just the bigger ones just cut up and they're a little white on the inside but it is what it is and we'll just get them. I should probably upgrade a blenders too. I know you guys saw my blender I'd have at home. This one would be nice. It's probably expensive. I have a Ninja at home, but it's a smaller one. Yeah, I think this is the one I have, but just a smaller one version than that. We have found them. So which one should I get? So we ended up getting this one. Lose it, health meter body weight skill. I guess you can connect it to an app. I don't really care about the app. I just care about the uh, accuracy on it. So we're just gonna pick this one up and then, uh, Go look around, see if I can get anything else I need. Check it out. It bends in that way. Look at that. It's pretty cool. I don't know, it's pretty neat. My favorite aisle, ice cream. So I know what I want to pick up. Or something. Uh, the skinny cow. Oh, I hope they have the snickerdoodle. No. Man, this place is slacking on the Snickerdoodle ice cream. I like the Skinny Cow cookies and cream. Uh, so it's either cookies and cream. I don't know. I'm not a really a fan of the mint. I've never had the mint one. But I'm not really a fan of the mint stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. As well as the low calorie ice cream. The Arctic ice. Now that's a new one. The cookie, the cookie dough chip one. It actually had the macros are a little different than a uh, like the cookie shake one. Let's see. This is one of my favorites, so I'm gonna pick this one up. Also, I like the caramel, salted caramel one. Oh, here we go. This one. A little expensive, 
but I don't eat the whole thing. I actually throw this in with my Greek yogurt just to make it almost like a, like a, kind of like an ice cream. So you throw that in with the Greek yogurt and it just tastes pretty good. So I think that's about it guys. Strawberries, the scale, and the ice cream. That's it. So the internet's still not working, which is kind of bummed, but what can I do? Uh, it's not even 9 o'clock yet, but they said that it was going to be restored around 9, 9.30ish. So let's hope for that because I can't live without the internet. It's my life. But, so we're going to set this up right now. The, uh, I'm going to set it up and see if it works. Hopefully it does work. I just bought it, you know. It does have a sleek look to it. I like it. I keep this in my room since my floors are all hard. So I'm not sure how this works. Pull this off to reset. Let's just see if it works. I figured that you just pull it out and it just works. So let's see what I weigh. I've been eating like crap lately. So. Oh, 212. But that's at the end of the day, too. So give or take about 208. All right. So it's cool. I like the scale. Finally got one that it even says buy. Finally got a scale that's decent compared to my last scale, which you guys saw. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this video. Today was a good day. My legs are actually sore. That's how you know it was a good leg day. So yeah, it's gonna be it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for all the good feedback I get from you guys. I do appreciate it more than you guys know. And yeah. Happy Memorial Day, guys. See you guys in the next video.